Thanks. So yeah, there's a lot of things to prepare here, but um, well, I'll start and I'll prepare as I go. I don't want to waste your time too much. So thank you a lot for coming to my show. If I can put it on full screen. Oh, there you go. So yeah, for those of you that don't know me, I make YouTube videos, I make electrical, about engineering electrical, try to make it funny so it's not too boring, and uh, you know, talk about basics of electronics in general, and, uh, and one thing I try to do is that I find the videos that are fake, and there's a lot of them on the internet for sure, and this is what my presentation is about. I try to find them and provide information to people so they won't believe it. But the problem is that like the number of viewers for those videos are like billions that my videos are like uh, thousands, so it is hard. <laughs> so let's see. Like um, one of the videos, like one type of the videos that I try to find and find is the people. Is on the screen? Yes. Like this guy. Do I need a mouse? Well, <laughs> uh, you know, one type of video are the people who claim that there is, they have special powers, like they are immune to electricity. Like for example, this guy claims that he can pass a lot of electricity through his body. Right now what he's doing is that he's shorting the wires through his tongue, so all the currents that's turning on the lamp is running through his tongue and his, nothing is happening to him, right? And the next person, well, it's the same person, but the next person is this guy, the Russian guy, kind of the same. He claims that he can tolerate lots of electrical voltages. Nothing happens to him. He can put it in his mouth, if I can run the video. He, and they go until, like, if they don't claim they're magicians. That's the problem. If they were saying that I'm a magician, that would be fine. But they're going on TV and every day, everywhere saying that, I have this special power. I can, like you see here, he has live wires in his hands. He can turn on the light and he puts it in his mouth and nothing happens. <coughs> and he's fine. So, another, another type. And then there is this guy. Similar thing. He says that he's very resistant to electricity. He says that, like, he can tolerate thousands of volts. You see here, like he's, he has his hand in the water while, while there's live wire in the water. His body right now is picking up 200 volts and he's not having any problem. So the problem with these people is that they're all fake. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not special. If you run a certain amount of current through your body, you will definitely die, right? So don't believe these people. Don't go and try and say, okay, maybe I'm special. Let's try it and then poof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do it. And so, what these people are doing is that they know about electricity. They know these are all tricks that we can do or swap. Never try to do what I'm doing here. <laughs> what I'm, I'm kind of, I've been zapped a lot, so I kind of know that it's dangerous. <laughs> there are still things to figure out. I still get hurt once in a while. Even like even very careful engineers, if you ask them, they always had gone through this mistake that they risk their lives without knowing. So even the professionals, they get hurt, right? So you never try it at home. And I've been zapped enough, so for this experiment, I need a victim. Um, <laughs> a volunteer, a volunteer. <laughs> He has my shirt, so you can Thanks. What's your name? Steve? Oliver. Steve? Steve. <laughs> Oliver. Oliver. So what we're going to do is that I have this wire here that has exposed ends, and I'm going to plug it in. And what happens is that... Let me plug it in if I can. <laughs> It hit me in the face. <laughs> so yeah, when you have exposed wires, you have to make sure that the ends are not touching. <laughs> That's one thing to make sure. So what I'm gonna do is that I'll, I'm gonna have live wires. My breaker didn't pop, good. So let's check it again to make sure it's... Just make sure that it's live. 
short anything. <laughs> I turned on the light. That's very important. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this live wire in the water, right? And you're going to put your finger in the water. <laughs> and tell me how you feel, right? Just be honest about it. Yeah. So, well, I took this water from the uh, washroom here. It's a cold tap water, supposed to be clean, but it seems like someone spit on it. So, well, it's supposed to be kind of pure. Hopefully it won't conduct too much. We'll see about it, okay? So there is nothing special. Put your finger away. Like right here? Yeah, go in. Yeah, a little bit lower in the water, okay? And now slowly bring it close and tell me if you feel it. <laughs> Feeling anything? Not yet. Not yet? Can you go between the wires? Oh, I feel that. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. You feel oh. it? <laughs> so you feel it? Okay, feel good, good, good. That's good. So, it, well, yeah, somebody definitely spit in the water. <laughs> yeah, the, the cold tap water is not supposed to be very conductive. Uh, the, like a hot tap water, they, it usually dissolves the material in the pipe, so it's more uh, conductive, and especially in the bathtubs or rivers and stuff, you add soap and chemicals and everything, so much more conductive. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. Right. <laughs> much salt. I'm going to make it much more conductive. Apparently it's conductive. I wasn't expecting you to feel much. <laughs> now you are going to definitely feel something. <laughs> and earlier too. Mix it. So that's the thing. Yeah, well, you, you might ask, hey, he put his hand in the water with live wires, why he's not dead? He would be dead if more of his body was in the water. Like for example, if you are, you are in a bathtub, there are more conductive paths to ground, like the plumbing is made of copper going to the ground, or the faucets, they are all connected to ground. So even if you just drop the live wire in the bathtub, there will be electricity, and you will be electrocuted, right? So it's much more dangerous in the bathtub. But here, he has only his finger in the water, so the electricity only passes through his fingers, right? And not through his vital organs, like heart or 